I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. If you've never seen the movie The Shawshank Redemption, you are missing a gem. Based upon a story by Stephen King, it is a wonderful, wonderful episode uh, of American movies focusing on uh, Andy Dufresne, <coughs> excuse me, Red, uh, and a, a minor character shows up, and I, between the three of them, I think there's a wonderful lesson for employees who work at firms. The minor character is named Brooks. Brooks is a guy who I believe works in the, uh, the prison library, um, and this came to me this morning, um, and it all kind of came together for me. So you know, Brooks is released from prison. And not long after he's out and doing the work that's expected of him on the outside, he comes to realize he can't really function on the outside. And he commits suicide. Red uh, is released and he checks into a room and sees carved into the beam are the words, Brooks was here. And he's been bagging groceries at a, a supermarket, working hard, asking for permission to do things like he did in prison. And he realizes that he's on the same path that Brooks was in. Then there's Andy Dufresne. And Andy is, you know, the, the embezzler, the bank robber, the guy who um, embezzled money from his bank and no one's ever found it. And he makes a path for his, himself the hard way in prison. And it is a very hard path. Let's not kid ourselves. If you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. Andy refuses to become institutionalized like Brooks was. And Red discovers he was. You know, Red is a little bit of a con man. He's the guy you can get cigarettes from, from the outside. Or there's something special you want, He'll arrange for it. Yet, he's worked in that system and he doesn't know how to function in the real world. And for many of you job hunters, for many of you people who've worked in one organization for a long time, you've become as institutionalized as Brooks, believing the BS that you've been told by your employer about what you're capable of and what you're incapable of. When you get to the outside, you discover that you're capable of a lot more. And it's a risk because you may discover that it's scary out there. I'll let you in a secret. It is. Anytime you step into an environment outside of your comfort zone, it feels a little scary. But it's the way you're going to survive and eventually thrive by getting out of the place that places these deadening rules on you. That cause you to conform and behave and do things that you really don't want to be doing. It starts with courage and the courage to say, you know, there's more to life and there's more to my work life than just doing this. That's the lesson from Andy Dufresne. Uh, Andy is the guy who looks like he's playing, the, uh, becoming a part of the system and he isn't. He's willing to take risks and uh, there are calculated risks, and he winds up making it to the outside and living. Again, Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you give it five stars in, on YouTube, I'm sorry, five stars on Facebook, uh, and that you give it a great review on YouTube if that's where you're watching it. Have a great day. Take care.